Hi everyone, Don Del Vecchio here coming to you live from Sedona, Arizona, and I'm just inspired to do a third video this week. So uh, today's video is called Earthing for Health and Activation. So I'm going to be talking about uh, how we take care of our bodies so that we stay connected with Mother Gaia in these times. Now, before I continue, as always, I would like to request that if you find value in this video, if you know someone who might benefit, please, please share it. Please like, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Ask me questions. If you want me to talk on a specific topic or if I'm not clear on something, please, I'd love your engagement. I'd love your feedback as well. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube and you like what you hear and it makes sense and you feel it's supportive of your journey through this life, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get notification when new videos come live or come on. So, okay. <clears throat> so today's, uh, oh, before, uh, one more thing I want to say is thank you everyone for all the birthday wishes yesterday. It was wonderful. Uh, so thank you, whoever put the heart. I can't see who's here, but uh, so thank you for all the birthday wishes. I got lots and lots of birthday wishes on my page and some of my groups, private messages, and it was really a blessing, and I appreciate very much your thoughtfulness. You could, you know, there's many, many things that call our time in the day, and even though it's kind of quick and we get reminders on Facebook anyway for birthday wishes, it still, it takes that moment, so I do appreciate that you took the time to do that, so yay. Um yeah, so, okay, so let's talk about earthing for health and activation. So I'm going to just connect in. Let me get in my little, my little mode here of connecting in for guidance so that I bring this forward very clearly and directly. I've said many times before, the frequency of Mother Earth is raising. We know this. This is, a, this is a scientific fact. The Schumann resonance, which is can be known as the heartbeat of Mother Earth, is increasing in frequency. And I believe it's, um, you know, this the I forget what that's called. The mm, there's a word for it anyway. We know her frequency. Her energy is raising. We know that our solar system is moving through this part of the galaxy that is of higher frequency, we know that people are waking up on planet Earth. Some are waking up to the political toxicity, oppression, lies, fakery, and getting very angry and distressed. Some are waking up spiritually to the recognition of who we truly are as divine eternal beings, much more powerful than any system we have collectively created and put in place. So <clears throat> there's a few ways we can go about this. When we wake up and recognize we're divine eternal beings having this physical experience and that these physical bodies are actually demonstrations of limitation, if we're doing spiritual bypass or not connecting with our lower chakras or the physical part of us, it could be very easy to just be like, well, none of this body stuff matters. I'm just going to go to the higher realms because I'm out of here as soon as I can anyway. <clears throat> but my feeling is that we're here for a reason and whatever that reason may be, I mean, I have a sense of it, but that's a topic for a different video. Uh, trying to escape where we are is a resistance to what is. So it's wiser to me, it would seem, and to not just me, to my guides, master teachers, friends, allies, etc., for us to actually own that we are here. We are in these bodies. We are eternal spirits. We have much more power and, and access to wisdom and guidance than we've been told we have. And um, we're a little bit in a planetary pickle right now. So as we get activated to awaken, we have to find the ways that will allow us to hold the light, to be in service to the awakening, and to also not get fried from the frequencies. So what does that mean? What do we do? Well, there's a number of things. A clean diet to take care of the physical vessel. Uh, the, the, the removal of hate and judgment and fear through forgiveness uh, practices. And 
earthing. I mean, these aren't the only three things, but these are key, three key things, earthing. So what is earthing? If you've never heard of it before, it's literally physically touching the earth with your physical body. Now, um, earthing actually can remove uh, EMF frequencies from your field. So it can reduce the frequencies that you're emitting or connected with. I'm, I'm not speaking in scientific terms because I can't speak to this aspect of it on that level, but I've seen it evidenced, so I know you can you can easily Google search it. What I want to talk about is more the metaphysical aspect, which is that when we Earth, when we actually literally physically touch Mother Earth with our skin, whether that's being in a body of water, being on rocks like here in Sedona, I go up to in my neighborhood and in the woods, I literally put my physical body on the earth, my bare feet, my legs, my arms, my belly, my back, whatever I can get touching the skin, touching the earth. You can also touch, hug trees. Anything where you're connected with the life force energy of Mother Earth is going to facilitate and help you keep pace with her increasing frequency. And that's the main thing that I wanted to share today with you. That if, especially if you start to feel like, well, there are different ways to describe it. Some people start to get really depressed. Other people uh, who are more in the upper chakra energies, they start to like fly off and they can't ground themselves. They're not in their bodies. Other people uh, get into anxiety or fear states um, or anxiousness. That's one of the places where I can tend to go is anxiousness, especially when I have overwhelm of a lot of work, which is one of the things that's happening for me right now. Um, and that's when earthing, just similar in the, 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 the way we say meditation is important. That's when earthing is really important right now. When we literally get our physical bodies touching Mother Gaia, who is an alive being with a consciousness aware of all of us on her body, when we connect with her, we invite and welcome not only a relationship with her, but we invite her to help us to keep pace with her increasing frequency. So uh, swim in the ocean, walk on the earth, kick your feet in the sand, hug some trees, whatever it takes, get your bare skin on the earth. And the harder time you are having right now with whatever's going on in your personal life, uh, first of all, know that on a collective level, many of us are being faced with challenges. We're really purging ourselves of a lot of old paradigm hate and fear frequencies. Uh, so if you're having a hard time, my, my um, empathy goes with you and know that you're not alone. And it's up to you to find the tools and resources to support you in not staying in that state. So earth yourself. Touch Mother Gaia. Ask her to activate you, to help you, to keep pace with her. And of course, you know, the other, the usual suspects, like I said, meditate, eat well, get enough sleep. Although there's some question about what enough is. I've talked about that in another video. Um, take care of yourselves. Uh, love yourself. Forgive, 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 forgive. Let go of old judgments and hates and resentments. <sighs> okay, so, but again, the focus here, earth yourself. Connect with Mother Earth. Sing to her. Talk to her. Let her know that you love her. Honor her beauty and you will feel her support. Okay, with that, I'm going to sign off now because, you know what? I'm going to go Earth myself. Okay, much love for now. Have a beautiful weekend. Bye-bye.